Newly uncovered court documents showing additional encounters between law enforcement and the alleged suspect in the Alina Clinic shooting out in Buffalo. Greg Ulrich is accused of killing a medical assistant and injuring four others in that attack. Our Rob Wilson has the latest from Buffalo. Now exactly two weeks after the mass shooting at this Alina Clinic in Buffalo, which remains heavily damaged and blocked off. Fox 9 has obtained some more police reports about Greg Ulrich. They come from the Sheriff's Department here, actually, Wright County. Several detailed DWI arrests from 15 years ago. One details a psychiatric hold Ulrich was briefly under. But another details a very strange encounter with the then sheriff at a grocery store, which sheds more light on Ulrich's mental state. The odd encounter came at Buffalo's Cub Foods on November 29th of 2018. This was one day after Gregory Ulrich had been released from jail for violating a harassment restraining order. The report was written by then Wright County Sheriff Joe Haggerty, who said, I was sitting in a booth in the deli section when an elderly gentleman I recognized approached on a motorized cart. He recognized it was the same man in a booking photo he'd forwarded to a line of security just days earlier. The elderly Mail asked if I was the sheriff, then shook my hand and said, You guys are all right, but the Buffalo police are not. Ten minutes later, still inside the Cub Foods, Ulrich approached the sheriff and his lieutenant again, this time on foot. He began telling us about being in the federal protection program and working with a former Minnesota attorney general in taking down some crime network, the sheriff wrote told them he'd just gotten out of the Wright County Jail, where he claimed he'd been threatened by cellmates that he told about this status as federally protected, which I don't believe he actually is, wrote the sheriff, and as he was leaving, he said his name was Calypso. Throughout Buffalo, a lot of questions linger why a man with documented mental health issues got a gun. Alina's two-year restraining order against him had expired in December, but his history is why many in the community wonder what more could have or should have been done. Still now two weeks after the shooting, and Buffalo will be uh, shaken by this for a long time to come. As for Ulrich, he's still being held in the Wright County Jail on uh, murder and attempted murder charges. He doesn't appear again in court for a month on March 22nd. In Buffalo, Robelson, Fox 9.